Fukushima in Japan is hemorrhaging at a phenomenal rate radioactive material into the Pacific Ocean. It's also hemorrhaging all of this ends up in the environment, in the atmosphere, mountaintops, clouds, along coastlines, and plumes of it, uh, thousands of miles long and miles deep, are moving along the coastline of the Pacific and radiating nurseries, kelp, habitat, to see what is. This is your radioactive reality. This is your radioactive reality. This is your radioactive reality. Let's get down to it, shall we? Any news? TEPCO press conference. Cancer is clearly increasing in Fukushima children. Many experts are starting to get concerned. TEPCO has committed a crime. We're going to the police tomorrow. This is your radioactive reality. 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 Fukushima fuel melted on unprecedented scale. The French government, parts of the Coriums have been dispersed. Its location and condition are unknown. And I, we know that this is a lie. Three confirmed full meltdowns through containment and into the environment. And this is your radioactive reality. If, in fact, the fourth plant goes under an earthquake and those rocks are exposed, it's bye-bye Japan. And everybody on the west coast of North America should evacuate. That's, that is terrifying. I don't know what it is. It's a global, universal, equal opportunity killer. And we can't see it. We can't taste it. You can't even measure it in the rain because of low levels. But as it rains out, every day it accumulates in the environment. And what they're doing is serving us a dose of radiation that will last for thousands of years that has contaminated all of North America. We do not expect harmful levels of radiation to reach the West Coast, Hawaii, Alaska, or U.S. territories in the Pacific. Furthermore, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and public health experts do not recommend that people in the United States take precautionary, take precautionary, take precautionary. This is your radioactive reality. I'll tell you how bad this actually is, that you have to go in there and bring it out by hand in buckets or whatever. But six or seven minutes exposure will probably melt your organs and you'll be dead a few moments later, if you're lucky. And you would need thousands of people a day for a couple of years to go in there and be able to bring out all of that and disassemble it and put it in sarcophagus. And all these people will die of cancer. Uh, just a terrible, unimaginable uh, heavy doses will melt all your internal organs. And all this stuff is flowing out into the Pacific. We're all going to end up extraordinarily different in the future because of this. We can't avoid it. Nobody can avoid it on this planet. The job is already done. It's just going to take another couple of years for it to flow around and destroy everything. The radiation, contaminate every coastline, every shoreline, every community. It's going to be affected. It's not slowing down. There's no way you can stop it. You can't nuke it. You know, like solidify, turn it into a classification. This is your radioactive reality. This is your radioactive reality. Hot particle found 400 kilometers from Fukushima with radioactivity over 4 billion becquerels. Large black puddles of fallout along roadsides might well be made from inside failed fuel rods. The number three explosion and confirmed fires in three and four fuel pools. Insanity. And they've got another problem on their hands. Groundwater seeps through cracks in the buildings. 400 tons a day. It mixes with what's already there. This is your radioactive reality. Engineers keep pumping the water out of the buildings. 
They store most of it in 1,000 tanks. But more than 80% of them are already full. This is your radioactive reality. So, workers dug seven reservoirs. But now, three of them have sprung leaks. This is your radioactive reality. 